It's a battle of the sacks. And it's Boston who are playing well at the moment. But they have struggled on the road, where they have lost 7 of their last 12. They aren't as efficient offensively away from home. And they're going to struggle in this one, because Cease will be great on the mound for the White Sox, giving up 7 runs in his last 4 starts. He gave up one run when he faced Boston in Fenway earlier in the month and will keep their offense in check once again. Chicago have won three of the last four games and they did a good job against one of the best pitching staffs in the league, scoring 13 runs in their three-game series win over the New York Yankees. They've hit the ball well against right-handers and won't have any trouble scoring against Pavetta, who has one win in four road starts, going with the White Sox, to get the win here. For a total, Sox, as in Red Sox, are averaging 4.24 runs per game and 4.19 runs on the road. They average 1.67 runs per game in their last three against the White Sox, and even though Chicago is giving up 4.95 runs per game at home, they gave up 3.62 in games started by Cease and will keep the Red Sox under their average. With Boston giving up 3.95 runs per game on the road, the Sox, White Sox once again, won't score enough runs to push this score over the total. The Red Sox and White Sox played under the total in five of their last six. So let's go right back to it. Two plays we're going to go with. We're going Chicago White Sox on the money line at minus 160, but we're also going to go Boston Chicago under eight. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Interested to hear your take as always. Good luck, gang. May the winner be yours. And we'll see you in the next one. This is Trending Rabbit.